Alright, what's happening YouTube? This is Street Radas, aka Jigga Jeezy. Uh, I'm doing my first Let's Play ever. Uh, Let's Play Day Z, Noob Diaries Part 1. Uh, I've never played Arma 2 or Day Z, so this is going to be interesting. Interesting in the fact that this is seriously going to be Noob Diaries. We'll see how long I even last. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty quick. Uh, where should I go first? Um, for the most part, most of my subscribers know that I do Ifinity gameplay videos. I don't do commentating, I don't do let's plays, but a lot of you guys have been saying I should start dabbling a little bit in uh, some let's plays and commentation. So here I am. We'll see what happens. I'm sure this is going to be a huge epic fail and probably face palm worthy, but time will tell. So I don't really know what I'm doing here. I know that I need to stay away from zombies. And I need to find some equipment. And I see a ton of zombies over there. Well, three. I don't know if that's considered a ton. But how I'm going to get over there without getting my face eaten and my penis molested by zombies is beyond me. Because that's pretty much all they want to do. They can smell it. They recognize Big Schlong when they see it, or they smell it. It happens. Just like chicks. Those gotta eat too. Oh, let's see. Now there's a whole cluster fuck of them over there. That's great. This guy is just a little, This guy looks like he's got just a straight gem. Been drinking too much. Country boy got himself some whiskey. He don't know where the hell he is. Uh, where should I go? This looks ugly right here. Look at this guy. What the hell's this guy doing? Got a little got two ground fuckers over here. These guys are walking around like they're looking for gopher holes to stick their dick in or something. That's pretty seamless. I don't like that. That that scares me enough right there that I think I should get out of here because I'm not really looking to get raped in a video game today. So I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna start running and I'm gonna run away from that place. Go see what this spot over here's got. So let's see, as I'm running over here aimlessly like a fucking douchebag, uh, I'm gonna do the uh, system specs because that seems to be the most common question I'm asked constantly on YouTube in my Ifinity videos. Since people don't really know how to read the description, uh, I'm running a uh, i5 2500K overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz. Um, I'm running it on an ASRock Z68 Extreme 3 Gen 3 motherboard. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 Samsung RAM rated at 1600 megahertz, but I got it overclocked to 2133 and I lowered the timings to. 10, 10, 10, 24, 1. Um, my GPU is a single Sapphire 7970 overclock edition. God damn it, look at that. I already got a friggin' zombie on my ass. Uh, it's overclocked to 1220 by 1700. Uh, love this card. A lot of you guys know that I had a, a 6950 Crossfire before, and this thing just pummels it. Once you overclock it, it just pummels that Crossfire. It's funny, because a lot of my videos are Battlefield 3 videos. I didn't realize how much how much micro stutter I was actually getting, because with Ifinity, um, on all ultra settings in VF3, I was actually averaging about... 45 frames a second on my 6950 crossfire and it seemed super smooth and then I uh, I sold that and got a 7970 and man it I mean it is so butter smooth it's ridiculous and I actually once I overclocked it I actually averaged an extra 10 frames a second um, in battlefield with the same setting so I was 
I'm actually getting about 55 frames per second on average in Battlefield now on all ultra settings. So, definitely a nice upgrade. Uh, yeah, and I, f I figured an Infinity video would be very good for uh, a Let's Play because it just jacks the aspect ratio up and you, you just really can't see what's going on all the time. I'm thinking I should try to get over here. These damn zombies are just everywhere now. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the background I'm running with here. Let's see if I can get myself some loot. And not die in the first five minutes. Like I said, this is Let's Play Z, uh, Daisy Noob Diaries. This could be a real quick Let's Play. Especially since I don't really play games like this. I love Stalker. Stalker is one of my favorite series, but this is a little bit different. The fact that you can just die and have to start over is uh, kind of serious. So we'll see what happens. I think I need to get in this barn. I have a feeling I'm being stalked by a zombie though. Maybe not. Uh, let's get in here. Let's, let's close this. Can I close this door? I can't close that door. So I'd like to close that door. But Let's see. We got some empty cans. We got a hatchet over here. I guess I'll take the hatchet just in case I need to... Uh, chop some motherfucking wood later. But what I'd really like to find is at least a weapon. But I'm not seeing anything in here. There's something over there. What is that? Another hatchet. I don't need another hatchet. There's another hatchet over there. Okay. Um, well, that was a that was a weak building. Oh, look at that! We got a little ground humper over here. This guy's this guy's hopping around looking for a gopher hole that he can put his dick in or something. That's that's hella dirty. That scares me. Um, man, I don't even know where to go. Guess I just gotta start making my way through. Try not to get killed. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna run up this hill. I need to survey the area a little bit here. See what I'm dealing with. It's like I can run if I sidestep. Maybe I just can't run because I'm running straight up this hill. Alright, well, what do I see? What do I see? I don't see shit. I've never played this. <laughs> I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on it and it looked pretty sweet. The impression I'm getting though from the YouTube videos I was watching which were like early early versions is that this game has gotten a lot more difficult when it comes to zombies attacking and the sheer number of zombies. So, I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to get into some areas, but we'll find out. We'll find out how short this Let's Play is actually going to be. And I'm just running because I really don't care. I have nothing to freaking give up in case I die, so... Not sure how many players are on this server. I think there is uh, I think there's at least 20 real players on this server so if somebody wants to catch a uh, catch a kill on me they're not gonna get nothing but a hatchet it's 
<laughs> I'm just gonna keep running through this hill, or on this hill, see if I can find something interesting. Running aimlessly through the forest. Wish I could catch someone slipping that had a tent out here or something and just rob them blind. Need some gear. Definitely need some gear. So anyway, comment below on uh, how you guys like this game. I, I mean, I, I hear so much about this. I've been hearing about it for months, but I never tried it. And... Uh, the hell is that? Knocked over a tree and a root ball. Nice. Um, never tried it. Decided I'd give it a shot. Not really into the survival horror games, but this one just got a little bit of flavor on it. I like the fact that there's real people in here. And that uh, if you die, you're, you die, you know? I mean, especially some of those people, God, they, they got so much gear. And then to, to die or get murdered and robbed for their stuff, I mean, that's gotta, that's gotta be rough. Now I'm way up on this hill. There's nothing up here. Ah. <sighs> Just need to find me something to drink and eat, and a weapon would be great, and that'd be a nice way to start, I guess. Probably should have went back to that town, but damn, what am I supposed to do with all those zombies in there? Without even having a weapon yet. I'd have to just run. Run aimlessly. <laughs> But this game would have its advantages and I finished it well. Definitely with decreased field of view, be able to be able to see zombies more when I'm running. Mushroom. Should eat that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me stick my finger in it. We got some shit over here. Freaking zombies everywhere. Look at that. So it looks like we got a little town over here. Not sure if I can get in any of those buildings though. gonna give it a shot I'm going to uh, I'm gonna end part one right here and let's see if we can get up inside one of those buildings and find some loot